When the Lincolns were in the White House in the 1860s, uh, their two sons, Willie and Tad, um, were of particular interest to the folks in Washington because Willie and Tad had a tendency to um, create a little bit of havoc. They had a fort on the roof of the White House where they would throw sandbags or water balloons or whatever they could come up with at people who were actually coming in to see their father in the White House. They liked to burst in on their father's cabinet meetings and jump up on the table and march up and down. They were just, like I say, generally a handful. But Lincoln loved them, he adored his sons, and he indulged them a great deal. He had a tendency to be inclined to buy them whatever their hearts desired. And that was especially true for his youngest son, Tad, um, who lived in the White House throughout the Lincoln administration. It was not an uncommon sight to see President Lincoln and his youngest son, Tad, strolling down Pennsylvania Avenue hand in hand to visit the Joseph Stunt's toy and candy shop, which was only four blocks from the White House. Uh, they were regular visitors to Mr. Stunt's uh, shop uh, where they examined uh, the latest toys, sometimes imported from Europe, um, sometimes from New York, sometimes handcrafted on site. Uh, Mr. Stunt's was famous for his little toy wooden soldiers that he hand carved himself and painted. Um, Tad would use those soldiers to populate his battle scenes uh, that he would reenact using this toy theater box. It has, I think, 17 different military scenes on it, on a paper scroll, and Tad would scroll through those um, military scenes and react the battle of uh, a Bull Run, for instance. I think the, the scene we have here is uh, uh, the attack on Fort Sumter, which started the Civil War. And Tad would charge White House staff and other visitors, including his own little friends, a penny apiece to watch uh, him reenact these battles. Um, with the toy soldiers and the theater box that his father had purchased for him.